Most people are still utilizing LinkedIn the wrong way. So in this video, I'm going to show you why that's the case and how I think you should be utilizing LinkedIn. And that's coming up right now. Hey there, Mark Warnkin here. Thanks for tuning into my channel, the number one place to stay up to date with everything that happens in the world of social media. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and tick the little bell icon. That way you won't miss out on any of my weekly videos. So are you utilizing LinkedIn the wrong way? That's what this video is all about. Now, I've been active on LinkedIn now for about 10 years or so, and it's from my professional experience and, 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 and my, um, I think, uh, you know, observation is the vast majority of people are utilizing LinkedIn the wrong way. They're just not taking advantage in any way, shape or form to the amazing potential that LinkedIn offers to us. And I've just done a quick Google search to get an updated number on the amount of LinkedIn users around the world. And there are 760 million business people around the world who've gone to the time and effort to create a LinkedIn profile to say to the world, here I am, this is what I do, let's potentially open up the lines of communication. And 260 million people are, are active on a monthly basis. So that's a quarter of a billion people. Think of it that way. A quarter of a billion people, 260 million who are, who are active on a monthly basis. But, you know, that's only a fraction of the of the population. And, and of all the LinkedIn users, as I say in this video, are you utilizing LinkedIn the wrong way? And it's my professional, um, I suppose, um, you know, observation and, and, and opinion is that the vast majority of people are. Let me explain why. In its simplest form, LinkedIn is a giant database and a search engine. So as I scroll through my newsfeed here on my LinkedIn profile, invisible becomes visible and the opportunities are now open for everyone on LinkedIn to reach out to other people, not only in their own city and state and country, but in every corner of the globe. And we can reach out and find these people by in many ways, but the most um, effective way and the most um, powerful way is to utilize the LinkedIn search function. Now, the top left corner here, um, I've already done a couple of searches and I will just clear that history because I don't want to spoil the surprise. Um, the search function of LinkedIn is LinkedIn's most powerful feature. But I would say nine out of 10 people that I speak with, engage with professionally, barely utilize the LinkedIn search function at all. And for that reason, they say, Mark, LinkedIn is not working for me, but LinkedIn is absolutely powerful. You just actually know how to use it and then start using it. So let me show you how LinkedIn is so powerful with a simple search function. So in the search box up the top, I've keyed in the job title CFO for Chief Financial Officer, and it's brought me up 1.4 million results. Now, it knows I'm searching from here in Australia, so they're preferencing that by giving me people with job title of CFO here in Australia. But let's utilize some of these filters and narrow it down even more. So Let's key in Singapore. So if you were looking to open up the lines of communication, find and engage with people with job title, Chief Financial Officer or CFO in Singapore, all we need to do is to utilize this amazing search function that LinkedIn gives us and invisible becomes visible at the click of a mouse. So 9,500 results in my network of people whose current job title is Chief Financial Officer and their current location is Singapore. Look at this, CFO Kimberly Clark, Asia Pacific, Managing Director and CFO Sin Capital, Singapore, David, so Jeanette. So we had Kim Sukha, we had Huawei, is that how you pronounce that one? Let me know if I've done that incorrectly, please. Uh, David, Jeanette, um, Jennifer, Prabhaka, Kenneth, AK, Elaine, Timothy, and it just goes on and on and on. I would literally have hundreds of pages of people whose job title in Singapore, which is the search function that I'm utilizing, um, and invisible becomes visible. So let's click on Agnes here, Agnes Lin, CFO. Um, Asia Pacific at JLL, invisible has become visible. So if in the course of your business, whatever you do, if an ideal business contact is the chief financial officer based out of Singapore, 
invisible has become visible. We now have the opportunity to reach out to Agnes, send her a message, pick up the phone, give her a call, send her an email if you can find her email, maybe even direct message her for free via here on LinkedIn. Look at this. I can click the button here that says I can send a direct message to Agnes. That is why LinkedIn is so, so powerful. You cannot get this feature anywhere else in the world. You can't do a Google search and come up with this great information. You can't find it on YouTube. You can't find it on Facebook. You can't find it on Twitter. You cannot find this information this quickly anywhere else in the world. And this is why LinkedIn is so powerful. You can probably hear the excitement in my voice. The vast majority of people just aren't utilizing LinkedIn this way at all, let alone on a weekly basis or a daily basis. If you're in business in any way, shape or form, and you're not utilizing the LinkedIn search function every day, then you are utilizing LinkedIn the wrong way. So that was the number one reason why I believe people don't use LinkedIn the right ways because they just don't use the search function. It's like they're not going to the networking event and then complaining that they don't get any leads. Now, I do have a couple of other little examples and tips on why I believe people aren't utilizing LinkedIn the wrong way. Let me show you them now. So the second reason is people just aren't posting and promoting themselves, their business and brand. So my latest post that I did here on LinkedIn has had almost 7,000 views. Let's click on that and have a look at it. I can't even remember what it was. I actually, I think I might have shared someone else's video. That's right. The amazing power of social media is that here we go. On this particular one, here we go. I shared this video by Strati, who's a connection of mine on LinkedIn. So I shared this video and it's had now nearly over 7,000, coming up to 7,000 views, 89 likes, 21 comments, things like that. So by sharing information to my network, and let's have a look at the video, what it's all about, I suppose. It's quite engaging. Someone's lifting up the bed and then up pops, you know, your workstation. So very topical at the moment where a lot of us from working from home. So, But look how simple this seven second video, not even created from by myself, it was shared by someone to me and I was able to on share that as well and various other things like that. Let me show you a few more posts as well. And just scrolling through again, here was one of my latest YouTube videos that I recorded and uploaded, how to schedule posts on Facebook. This particular post has had a couple of comments, a couple of likes, 642 views, that type of thing as well. So by um, um, creating content, helping to promote yourself, your business and brand, this is what people don't do anywhere near enough as well. I work with clients, I work with business people all day, every day, and I go through their newsfeed and try and see you know, how much they're posting. And quite often I see they haven't posted in a month or so, and they start complaining that LinkedIn doesn't work for them. So that's actually the second reason. Here's another video, it's had a thousand views. Here's another video that I shared on, on how to use Instagram or the, create the perfect bio that type of thing. So the third way that I believe people aren't utilizing LinkedIn the right way is they're not, not engaging with their network. They're not going to the news feed. They're not going to the homepage. These are people that have gone to the time and effort to you know, connect with on LinkedIn. And you can quite easily just scroll through the news feed and start liking and commenting and sharing and engaging with your business community around the world. So Look, and some of the videos now are absolutely very creative. And, and I suppose my number one tip at the moment for video or for content on LinkedIn, well, not only on LinkedIn, but across all social media platforms, um, is video promotion. Now, look at this person. It's a real life, uh, you know, claw game. I think, you know, all of us as kids, you know, we've used the claw to, to, to try and get uh, something in the, in the um, you know, you put 20 cents in and you, you you get something out of the cage. And this this is a human example of it. But yeah, liking and commenting and sharing information. That's what LinkedIn is all about. And if you're going to go to that time and effort of engaging and, and being active on LinkedIn, make sure you set up and optimize your LinkedIn profile correctly. I have lots of videos on how to do that and I will put the links to them in the comment section below. So that's why I honestly believe people aren't utilizing LinkedIn the right way or you, they're using LinkedIn you know, incorrectly is because they're not utilizing the search function to find their ideal business contact after that, they're not posting, they're not posting um, any content to help promote themselves, their business and brand. And thirdly, they're not engaging 
with their LinkedIn network. So there we go. Hopefully you found this video on LinkedIn informative, entertaining and helpful. And I've opened your eyes on the possibilities of how best to utilize LinkedIn. I've been on LinkedIn now for probably 10 years or so, and I'm still absolutely amazed that the business community, not only here in Australia, but around the world, the vast majority of people still just don't know how to utilize LinkedIn. That's what I do in these videos. Lots of how-to videos, not only showing you how to utilize LinkedIn, but all of the other social media platforms as well. So what I'd like you to do is go to the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know whether you agree with what I've been saying. Um, I love feedback because it broadens my mind as well and it opens up my mind to new opportunities as well. If you're watching it on my LinkedIn page, by all means, leave me a comment. Don't forget to send me that connection request as well. And no matter which of the social media platforms that you're watching this video on, video on, you know the drill. Give me a thumbs up, give me a like, leave me a comment and share this video as well. Lots of instructions, but you know what it is. Just tell your friends all about it and share it across the world of social media. Mark Warnkin, Social Media Selling 123 signing off. I look forward to seeing you again real soon in another one of my videos.